Oh, it's nice to get up in the morning when the sun begins to shine. At four or five or six o'clock in the good old summer time. But when the snow is blowing and is murky overhead, oh, it's nice to get up in the morning, but damn nicer to stay in bed. My first visit to Wilmore is 1981. There was an opening at Adams Creek Lookout, which is uh, over 7,000 feet up. It's, it's uh, on the eastern side of Wilmore Park. It was so isolated, a lot of people didn't really want something that far out, that isolated, and I said, that's just fine. It's nice to go back, nice to see the country, nice to feel that the forestry think that I'm uh, doing good work there for them, and I'm proud to be there. Uh, that's very important to me because I like to go there and feel that I can make a contribution. I don't mind the isolation. I, I can handle that. It's, nature is a wonderful thing if you can train yourself to understand it. And if nature can say, look, I'm trying to teach you something, look at the shapes of these rock walls or a bend in the river or outcrops on a glacier or trees that are broken by the wind, by the hail, take advantage of it, learn from that. How does this become part of a design for a composition, even like sculpture? When it comes to choosing subject matter and locations for artwork, I like something that has a little bit of spirit to it. A successful painting, to me, done in the mountains, gives you a feeling that you want to hang on to something, that there's space around you that there's rocks, you don't know what's below, you can't see what's below you. I like those kind of compositions. They're monumental, they're very third dimensional. There's a chance for texture, there's a chance of lights and darks, dramatic lights and darks, depending what the sun or moon is doing. I love ice quality, snow, I like uh, avalanche slopes. When you're outdoor painting, try the impossible, aim for the impossible. Something that's rustic, a little bit fierce, not sweet, something that's very deliberate that shows your mood, shows your temperament sometimes. The ranges of color, shapes, textures, all of these things I think are unique to this area. There's a balance, there's a balance of verticals and horizontals and angles that I like very much and I like to have a choice of which ones can I work with, which ones will make the best composition, what can I leave out, what can you find here that makes it different for you. Why did you come here and what makes you want to come back so soon? Because you will. Most of the people I know do want to come back. The Wilmore experience to me is a chance to explore a huge area that goes back in time that hasn't changed very much. There's all kinds of inspiration for drawing, painting, photographs. It's unlimited and uh, nature is still our best teacher. Wilmore is Alberta's best kept secret, I figure. And if you listen close, you'll hear the mountains moving in the middle of the night for the last Ten summers I've been the lookout here Adams Creek, she flows below I've seen smoke spiral deep in the valley bottom I've seen lightning strike a fire That burns clear across the tree line And in the moonlight I paint Shadows of the mountain ranges Falling on the forest slowly Growing darkness and light A tree broke in the wind A bend in the river Sends me downstream Searching out for inspiration This place in my heart Is so together The light paints on the land the brush strokes of days and this place in my heart is so together and if you listen Travel. 
summer camp, fire smoke. Robert lives in the lookout there. You can see it up on the ridge line. For each summer pass, I've been packing here, and I know he's up there painting. Hard weather comes on the days below. Through the north wind howling and the coming snow. And I know he's there, like a part of the land. Skate painted sky with a steady hand. And will you come out to these valleys and climb in the alpine? Through the places and robbers' paintings, the moonlit silhouettes of mountain ranges. This place and my heart are sewn together Then I wait for the morning time to shake these dreams up And I'll sit with the daybreak's waiting palette to 